Hello, my name is Germana Robinelli. I'm a certified personal trainer, nutritional therapist, and a clinical hypnotherapist that lives on Vancouver Island, Canada. This is a wellness tip video. I'm providing one every Wednesday at 10.30. If you do like what you hear today and you think it's of value, please subscribe to my page and follow it. And every Wednesday you'll get something that I'm sure you can apply to your own self-care and perhaps pass on to some of the people that you love in your family or your partner or even your children. Um, the tip that I'm going to talk about today is not a physical tip, but it's a nutritional tip. It's a tip about being aware of the body's many cries for water. And there's a book that I was introduced to years ago by one of my uh, mentors, and it is called Your Body's Many Cries for Water. And this book is um, a pretty intense book. Some of the medical community was not happy with this man's writings because he really linked a lot of um, health issues to chronic dehydration, and I'm not going there, and I'm not touching that one. I am going to offer some suggestions on hydration and how to know if you're actually getting enough. One of the best formulas that I was taught as a nutritional therapist, and it's quite basic, basic works. You take your body weight, well, let's just pretend it's 160 pounds, and you divide that by two, and that in itself gives you the number 80, and then you divide that by eight, which means that human being that weighs 160 pounds needs 10 eight ounce glasses of water a day just to manage its capacity to flush toxins out of the system, to carry nutrients to the cells, to allow for elimination, and to allow for the body to actually get what it needs. Most people do not drink anywhere near enough water. They drink a lot of coffee, they drink other things, and they don't really understand the true natural need for water. When we're dehydrated, we often don't sleep well, we're often irritated, and it can cause a series of other things. And then we look outside and we end up going to some sort of a medical intervention to basically put duct tape on it. And we're still disconnected from what the body's actually asking us to do. So what I'm gonna ask that you do is, you know, see if you can drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day. If you're able to do that, you'll probably notice first people get concerned, I'll have to go pee too much and actually, you might for a couple of days and then it'll settle. But what you'll typically notice is that you'll have more natural bowel movements, you'll have more energy, you'll feel more rested, and you'll actually eat less. There is evidence that shows that 80% of the time when people think they're hungry, it's actually their body asking for water. And they're so disconnected from what their body is actually asking for, they just keep eating and eating. And if we want to have some health with regards to managing our body weight, then water is our number one resource as well as sleep. Sleep is number two. This particular bottle has 16 ounces of water and I drink this amount of water before I start my day. And I'll drink about four or five of these a day easily. Sometimes I'll put like a vitamin C thing in there or something to make it more enjoyable. And yet you'll notice my skin quality is good. I'm 54 years old. The body needs water and when it doesn't get water, it has to rob it from its system. So it'll actually pull the water out of your blood. It'll pull the water out of your stools, which is why people have a hard time going to the bathroom. And um, you know, the other piece is that people will actually crave food when they actually need water. So I'm gonna ask that you give yourself permission, do a little formula, you know, even do eight to 10 glasses a day and just notice if it makes a difference. I'll actually have one of these by my bedside table at night and I'll drink the entire thing during the night. In the morning while I'm making my water for my tea and my coffee, I'll drink another one right away. And you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to the bathroom within about 30 minutes, which says the body is healing and cleansing and just eliminating what I put in in the last 24 to 48 hours. So it is all about being aware that our body is an ecosystem. And when we take time to be mindful of what it's telling us or learn how to listen to it, and take ownership of that, then the quality of our life improves. So I wanna thank you for your time. If you have any questions or you have a topic that you'd like to hear 
about, please feel invited to, you know, send me a message and uh, thank you.